Hi, my name is Shevin, uh, class of fall 19. I was released from prison January 19, 2021. My first few weeks was extremely difficult than most maybe. Um, when I, I had planned while I was inside uh, everything from my home, home state. And so when I get out, parole tells me you can't go back home until you're off of parole. And so that kind of like threw like a brick in my whole planning. Um, and so I had to adjust in not so much as in fear, but as in just scared to let go in a new city, a bigger city than where I'm from. And, um, and that was difficult for me. I, I had uh, trust issues. Um, I had major anxiety. Um, it, it, was, it was just, it was a challenge. It was a challenge. Um, and I thought uh, I was set on employment and I really wasn't um, through family business. And so that was another uh, weight on me. But um, yeah, it, it, it was difficult. <laughs> I went through the program, uh, Prison Entrepreneurship, um, because I had the determination to learn business. I had the determination to um, uh, be a part of an organization that teaches you uh, character development because I knew I had an issue with that. And so, um, but I didn't think that a tr the transitional uh, housing would take effect <laughs> because like I said, everything I had planned it for was actually to go home. Um, getting out, um, uh, PEP was right there. They picked me up from prison when I was released. Um, I had shelter uh, that's, that is faith-based faith and, um, uh, and I had my life caddies. Uh, they played a important role getting me comfortable, getting, uh, allowing me to see that I can trust them, allowing them to uh, uh, just embrace me. Uh, and, and, and it made a huge difference. Um, well, definitely not having family here in Texas. Um, I, I, I can't say enough about them. Um, uh, they didn't, uh, you know, they allowed me to see that they was there and they're not gonna hold my hand, but they was going to encourage me. They're gonna push me and they uh, had my best interest in mind. And that's what I love about PEP. They had my best interest, interest in mind and they still do. I was busting tables. I was working 65 hours every two weeks. I was working a lot of hours, um, just busting tables and burning myself out. And, um, uh, my life caddy, Jeremy, uh, called me and was like, hey, are you looking for another job? Um, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and so he was like, well, you got an interview for it. So um, I interviewed for it the, over the next couple of days. And uh, how I got it was um, I went in for the interview. And, and during the interview process, a customer came in and I was actually trying to help the customer. And I actually sold myself in the interview and so they hired me. Um, but if it wasn't for PEP, I might have not gotten that chance to work. So the company that I work for is called Eagle Postal. Um, the owner, his name is uh, Brian Roberts. He's a Christian, um, he's a, a PEP volunteer. Um, our relationship is phenomenal. He's a great guy. Um, he loved giving PEP uh, participants an opportunity. Before me, uh, it was like a revolving door uh, with employees. And so they hired me in that mentality pretty much. was like, hey, he's just going to be in and out and um, let's just, just give him a chance, you know. And I used that chance uh, and I over exceeded their expectations. As, as a matter of fact, I over exceeded my expectations. Um, it wasn't projected for them to make over 500000 until uh, a couple years from now. And we're already there. Um, 
and um, I think because um, I, how I worked on my character, um, I think that played a big role in, uh, to my customer service. Um, and, you know, like I said, I'm a store manager now. And I didn't see myself there. Uh, I didn't see myself there. But now that I'm there, I have uh, created opportunities for other PEP uh, participants who want to make a difference in their life. My relationship with Brian Roberts uh, him being in my life, him being a part of the PEP organization, understanding uh, what, uh, understanding the, uh, I guess the language I would say, uh, has been an, uh, amazing to me because, like I said, when it comes down to trust, he trusts. He trusts me to the fullest with money. He trusts me running the store. That's why I'm a store manager. Um, he trusts me with the customer service and he trusts me about being business, being business oriented. And um, that means a lot, just getting out of prison um, and uh, having a store key. You know, it, it doesn't necessarily happen like that that quickly. Um, and the fact that um, PEP opened those doors um, and, and it paved a way for me to come in and be trusted and all I have to do is just um, you know be myself and, and, and show my character development and show my growth um, and show that I'm, um, I'm, I'm ready to do this you know it, it have changed the whole environment and, and have changed the whole environment with PEP uh, in a positive manner you know, um, as far as us not looking at, looking like prisoners, you know, us not wearing that jacket, us not wearing, um, you know, hey, he can't be trusted, you know, and it's not, it's not that anymore. It's that, hey, man, he, 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 he conducts himself in a manner where um, opportunities are being met and made, and that's beautiful. And I have that relationship with Brian where I can call him, text him, and he'll respond right away. Anything that I need or not just me, but, you know, hopefully any of the uh, PEP participants uh, now in the future. The plans that I made was uh, I I'm still I'm still reaching. I'm still reaching those milestones. Um, and I, I spoke earlier about the process, um, you know, I. I, I used to think that a process was uh, real quick in a hurry, um, but it's not. That's that's not true. A process it takes time. Things, it takes time to uh, develop what's going on. Um, um, it takes time to meet those milestones. It takes time to to reach your goals. And I just want to encourage anybody who might have gotten out of uh, might have gotten out of prison or is getting ready to get out of prison or who, who's getting ready to start life. You don't have to rush. Just trust your process, make plans, and, 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 and as you plan, reach those goals, and that's how it becomes milestones.